Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Girardi, CEO of ProEst, and welcome to Tech Talk. This month we're talking about sort types, a way that we allow our users to organize their estimate data in a manner that might be different than the way their data set is set up. So I'm going to show you first the setup of this. I'm going to go up to the system settings, go to sort types, and I'm going to show you just some samples I have already set up in my system. I have four different sort types set up. I'll open up phase, you'll see building one, two, and three. I have bid item, I have uniformat. Um, these can be whatever you'd like. So I can add a new sort type. So if I wanna add a new one, I click on the upper right where it says add new. That could be called location, it could be fault, called phase, it could be called WBS. Really up to you how you wanna term that uh, ability to group. Uh, and whatever we put in here in the sort type setup, any new estimate you create from this point forward will utilize this setup, All right? So if you wanna have specific sort types in every project, this is where you do it. Okay, I'm gonna start by opening up an estimate and show you how they're utilized. There we go, just open up a sample estimate. You'll see over here on the far right, I actually added a sort type as a column. You'll see the word phase. Right, so whether you call it WBS or phase or location or uniformat, it'll be listed over here on the right. So you could add to that. So if you wanna go up to your uh, column layout and, and add different sort types as columns, you can do that. And you'll see there's a pick list here of whatever values are in that sort type. Okay, so if I wanna add a new item to this estimate, just as a quick sample, I can put a quantity, I can come over to my sort type that I called phase in this case, assign it to building two, save it. And now it's in the estimate and that sort type's assigned. So as I add additional information here to my estimate, I could automatically assign it to whatever sort type or basically this is a method to organize the estimate. Okay, so now that that's done, I have the ability up under the group to decide how do I want to group my estimate? Do I want to group it you know, based off of division, meaning how your database is set up? General conditions or general requirements, excuse me, concrete and utilities, or I could select that sort type that I have assigned, right? And now I have that same data organized by building. What items belong to building one versus building two? So you can see there's a lot of flexibility here to allow you to you know, organize and uh, group your estimate in just an unlimited number of manners. Um, this also, I'm gonna open up a new tab here for reports, flows through to the reporting, right? So when I get into any of the standard reports within here, even custom reports that you've created within our platform, the group by you have a decision of how do you wanna group it? Right, so this standard estimate cost totals report, I just said group this by phase, and now I see it's grouped, the costing is grouped based off of building, building one and building two. Right, so there's a lot of flexibility there. Uh, also another thing I'd like to point out about sort types within the estimate, like in this case, I have building one, two, and three as values for the phase sort type, but we can add values that are specific to this project as well. We do that right on the sort type tab. So if I click on the sort type tab, um, I'm looking at the sort type specifically for this project. Building one, two, and three, I could add another one on here. Called building four. All right, I could put a quantity in as well if I wanna come up with a quick unit cost. So if I want a, a different quantity for each um, sort type of a project, you could do that as well. So maybe this building a 10,000 square foot building. So it'll give me quick unit cost there as well. But once I do this and add a new value to a sort type within an estimate, it's specific to this estimate, right? So if there are locations on an estimate that are specific to that project, this is where you do that. And then when I go back to that estimate tab now, you'll see uh, building four is gonna be one of the options on there. So if I move this item to building four, you'll see now I can group it in that manner as well. All 
All right, so now I have building one, two, and four. So wanted to give you a good overview of this functionality. Uh, it's really popular function because it allows us some flexibility to you know, not only group items for um, reporting purposes, I want to summarize data and costing, but I can also group it in, you know, summarize labor hours, summarize equipment hours, anything that is an item level, now that we have this sort type grouping available, um, we can quickly come up with those totals, which gives us some more visibility into different segments within your project. So that's it for this month. I do appreciate all of your business and uh, stay tuned for next month's Tech Talk. Thank you very much. Have a great year, a great month. Bye-bye.